just a really quick video on all the things you should be able on some of the things you should be able to do with your CAS CX calculator. And the first thing we're going to work on is what? Uh, least common multiple. So we'll do least common multiple. So make sure you're in your calculator screen and just type in the initials L C M. How do we know this is going to do something? How do we know our calculator recognizes it? It's going to do something? Exactly. It went from italic print to standard print here. Open the parentheses and type in the numbers that you're concerned with, like maybe 12 and, and 46. 12 and 46, maybe. And the least common multiple would be 276. All right? Least common multiple. That was pretty easy, wasn't it? Then we talked about how to find greatest common fact, and we found out that we don't actually type in GCF. We just type in, just type in factor. So this could be really complicated. We're doing examples that we should know the answers to to make sure that it's doing what we're asking it to do. Type in factor. It went from italics, didn't it, to standard print. Open our parentheses, and let's do 5 and 25, if you don't mind. And we know that answer is going to be what? Yeah, the answer is going to be 5, but we're just trying to prove that. And it doesn't matter how, com how complicated these numbers get, it will still find the factor for you, right? We worked on another one. We took an equation, and we tried to find the factors of an equation. Remember? And the way we did that was we said this. We said factor. We had an equation. We knew what the answer was going to be, but we just testing this out. So we created an equation, and the one we created was x squared. Um, Dalton, if you want, just want to do squared, hit x, and then you can just hit the squared button instead of this caret over here. All the rest of them, you have to hit that caret first, right? Plus, what was it, 5x plus 6, right? And just hit enter from there. And these are the two factors, aren't they? These are called the binomial factors. So these are the binomial factors of this. We'll factor that out, won't it? Right? I could ask you a question on the quiz and say, factor... Anybody know what the factors of this are? X squared minus 25. What are the factors? Anybody know? Yeah, X plus 5 and X minus 5 are the factors, and there they are. Okay? Not bad? This will also expand stuff. We can do expanding. Expand E, X, P, A, N, D. Expand. And if I wanted to expand x plus 3 to the, check me out here Dalton, because if you had to do this math it would take a long time, but to the fourth power it should expand it. And there it is. That's pretty good, right? What else do we talk about? We talked about the solve function, so we can solve functions here by solve. And I think what we did was we used the function that we had used earlier. We said solve, oh we used this one because you guys are so smart. We used x plus 3. equals 5 and right now I'm turning the camera onto the student who didn't know the answer and she said something about she couldn't because she didn't have her glasses so embarrassing everybody knows the answer is 16 so <laughs> so here it is solve x plus 3 so I, I know that you know what the answer to this is but look there it is it's what you expected and you could solve something a lot more complicated we talked about this we could solve this function couldn't we 3 so and here's that exponent key right here to the power of x, right? To the power of x. Whoops, not xx. Remember, look, this this is really important because we're up here in this exponential part. So if we hit the equal sign now, it'll put the equal sign way up here. So what you want to do is use your right-hand cursor right there. See how I moved it down? Put the whole cursor in right there. And let's say we said it was equal to what? 15? Is that what we used? Remember, it's really important you have to put in your argument. So this is in terms of that comma, x, and we got that answer, right? Last thing, that if we get an answer like this and we want it as a number, we hit control, enter. Okay, you guys, good work.